Hey guys, welcome back to another Wicked Wednesdays. As you can tell, I am not in my usual setup. That is because I have gone back to my family house for the last week of my uni holidays. So I just thought I'd do another how-to video for you guys. And I thought, chances are, when it gets to Halloween, somebody somewhere is gonna leave it to the last minute to organize something or just be caught unaware of a party that they gotta go to and just need to whip up something really quick. So I thought I'd show you my recipe for DIY nose and scar wax, although it's not wax, really, there's no wax in it. So this is just a cool technique if you need to whip up a scratch, a cut, a burn, some kind of wound really fast. So for this, you will need some Vaseline, some all-purpose plain flour. I'm sure self-raising flour would not make a difference. A bowl and a spoon. And if you are wanting to color it, unless you your skin is the color of plain flour, you are gonna need some foundation of some kind. I find coloring it with the foundation while mixing it makes it look a lot more realistic when applied to the skin instead of trying to cover it later with foundation. Okay guys, so you're gonna wanna take the Vaseline and just, depending on how much you need, you do not really need that much scar wax at all to create some wounds. This, you always use less than you think you need. So just for the purpose of this, I'm going to be taking a full teaspoon of Vaseline and just scraping it straight into the bowl. Next, I'm going to take the flour and a different teaspoon and just apply it little bits at a time into the bowl and then mix it and then mix it up until I get the desired consistency. So the best way to tell if the putty is at the right consistency is to take it and roll it in between your two hands and if it doesn't stick or isn't tacky anymore you're pretty much at the right consistency. So once you've got the desired consistency I'm just going to take the foundation and just put a little squirt of it in there and mix that up. Remember it's always better to do too little foundation in the beginning than too much as it can be too hard to change the colour and make it lighter without affecting the actual consistency of the putty itself. So I always find when colouring it, I always need it lighter than I think it should be. It looks a lot lighter on the camera than it does in real life, but as you can see that is pretty... There, I'll try and block some light. It's got some tan colour to it, but it is not that dark. Compared to my skin, it does look several shades lighter but I think that is probably nearly perfect. So I'm just gonna roll it up into a little ball. And if you feel the foundation has changed the consistency and made it too wet again, you can just go ahead and add some more flour to it. So just take a little pinch like that. You really don't need very much at all. Roll it into whatever shape you want. Now just like any other scar wax, you do want Vaseline to smooth it out. And once I'm happy with how it is smoothed out, I'm just going to add an indentation and make it a bullet wound as I always seem to do in my how-to videos. And I'm just Vaseline the end of a pencil because I do not have my tools with me. I'll just poke it straight down and lift it up. So as you can see, it holds its shape reasonably well. Of course, just like scar wax, if you do bump it or move it, it will lose its shape. I do find with the flour and like the homemade scar wax, that the flour can be a little bit grainy and can almost, looking at it closely, can almost give away the whole effect. But at the same time, it does mean that you do not have to texture it because it already has bumps and texture all over it which is handy on the plus side. And just for the purpose of this video, I will be adding some blood to it just to add the effect. So there you go guys, that is the finished product. Well there you are guys, that is the finished product. I hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I did doing it for you. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video and don't forget to leave any other suggestions for tutorials or how-to videos that you'd like to see me do in the comments section below. And I'll see you next week. Bye.